Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how I gap my spark plugs. Um, I'm going to be gapping the plugs today in uh, Steve of the Evo. Um, there's a few reasons why you might want to be gapping your spark plugs. Uh, if the gap is too wide or too thin, you could get a poor spark basically and uh, not be able to properly ignite the fuel and air mixture. Uh, if the gap is too big or even if the gap isn't too big, even if it is to factory spec, um, but you're running a modified turbocharged engine with increased levels of fuel and boost going in uh, the coil pack or the ignition system can have a hard time sometimes getting that spark across that uh, spark plug so you might choose to actually close the gap of the spark plug to improve the reliability of the spark but uh, in my case it's just occurred to me I haven't actually gapped the spark plug so I'm just going to be gapping them to the factory spec um, and to do that I'm going to need basically one or two things. Uh, the first thing you need is a feeler gauge. Now that allows you to check the gap on the spark plug and secondly you're going to need the spark plugs. So I'll whip out the spark plugs and I'll show you how I gap them. Uh, in this case I'm going to be going to the factory spec of 0 0.22. Okay so here's my spark plug. I've done the other three already and here's my feeler gauge. Now I want it to be at 0 0.22 inches so I've got the two tabs here 0 0.23 inch and 0 0.22 inch so I want it to fit with 0 0.22 and not fit with 0 0.23 so uh, if I put it close up to the camera we can see 0 0.23 doesn't just fit but there's wiggle room as well between the, uh, the little gap in the spark plug now this is why I also mentioned in another video why you shouldn't just drop the spark plugs down the hole because this is how little force it takes to change the gap on the spark plug. So literally one little tap, that's like one centimeter you know, of drop basically onto this little metal plate that I've got from something else. And that would have actually changed the gap on the spark plug, just that on its own. So I'll try it again. Zero point two three still fits in. I'll do it a couple more times. Perfect, so that didn't take very long. Okay, so here it is. If I put 0 0.23, it doesn't fit. 0 0.22, it fits. So that is actually very close to 0 0.22 and it's ready to go in the car. Now the way I fit it to the car, you can either use a special spark plug socket which actually holds the spark plug. Uh, I have got them, but I don't like to use them because usually the socket will stick to the spark plug when you pull the extension. So I tend to use a magnet, just twist the plug a couple of threads and then pull the magnet off. And that's usually enough. So in this case, all of my spark plug gaps were a little bit big. So I did have to close them all down from around 0 0.29 or 0 0.28 to 0 0.22. So this doesn't just apply to um, it's a bit Evos, it applies to any car with a spark plug, even if you've got a 1 litre Vauxhall Nova, gapping your spark plugs is not going to hurt anything and it's going to make the car run a bit better, assuming they're out of spec. So it's definitely something I recommend checking on your car uh, right now actually. Uh, get yourself a feeler gauge, get a good one, only like a fiver and uh, just make that little improvement to your car. So thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the little video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.